The 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is a new type of Mustang that will come out in 2025. You won't find this in any other pony car. It's a real, limited edition supercar meant to fight with Ferrari and Lamborghini. A better look at the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD racing inspired. The GTD is based on the Mustang GT3 race car. It has a body made mostly of carbon fiber and a huge rear wing that screams speed. Limited production. The GTD will only be made in 1,000 units, making it a very rare collector's item. Getting one won't just be about the money. People who want to buy one will probably have to go through an application process. Extra power. The GTD has a 5.2-liter V8 engine that is boosted, which should make it even more powerful than the Mustang Shelby GT500. This beast is built to go fast with a Tremec dual-clutch automatic gear. Prices and availability. The GTD is a very expensive car because it is a supercar and only a few are made each year. It will likely cost around $300,000. The deliveries should start in late 2024 or early 2025. It's important to remember that the GTD is not the same as the regular Mustang. It's its own unique high-performance beast, the Marvel Engineering. When it comes to suspension, the GTD doesn't have McPherson springs, but instead has push rod suspension like in race cars. This lets you fine-tune wheel control and handling when making tricky turns. The GTD has adaptive dampers that are controlled electrically. For comfort on the street and track stability, these automatically change to the conditions of the road. Special features. Inside the GTD, the dashboard will look very different from the Mustangs. The seats will be shaped like race cars, and the instrument cluster will be designed with the driver in mind. GTD customization may be limited because it focuses on making things and making them work well. Ford may offer sets of wheels and internal trim that can be customized. Besides the numbers, the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD has more than just horsepower and run times. It's clear that Ford can compete in supercars since they quit.